If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how to get a bunch of free elites right now in Madden 22 Ultimate Team, guys. So make sure you guys do go ahead and get this. This is one of the ways I would recommend going about starting off your trial and kind of using the 10 hours to get all the free players you can get in Madden and taking advantage because there's a lot of them. So for today's Poodle Squad shout out, before we get into anything, it's going to be going out to, let's see who we got on the list today. We have True Radiant. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. You guys have been killing it with the support today. Make sure to smash the like button, guys. It takes a second. Helps out the videos a ton. Can we get 100 likes in this video? As well as, can you guys subscribe and turn that noti bell? If you want a Poodle Squad shout out, all you got to do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad, and I'll shout you guys out, as you guys have been seeing in every video. And of course, if you need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below in the description and use code Poodle at checkout for a discount. But yeah, let's get into this, guys. So there's a bunch of free players you can go ahead and get. I'm going to go one by one, and then we're going to count them down. How many total free players you can start, and kind of how you can pretty much have half a team just worth of free players, right? That's kind of how this stuff usually works. So to start off with the challenges, right? Going to challenges, you're going to have the campaign, the gridiron, which you unlock at a level, and the early access. So starting off with the early access, guys, the first elite you want to go ahead and get is probably going to be the early access Nat 80 plus overall core elite wide receiver pack. That's a good pack. That's You could get an 88, you know, Devontae Adams out of there. You can get a DeAndre Hopkins, a Stephon Diggs, a Mike Evans. Yeah, you can get you can get a Brandon Cooks 80, but either way, it's free. It's not. You're going to have it on your team. You could use it for the solos. I recommend getting it. You kind of need a good receiver to start the solos too because you're rocking with like trash ass people right now. A decent, good wide receiver can go a long way. Just aggressive catch in arcade because the, the bronze ones will drop and not animate. These will actually animate. So make sure you guys go ahead and get that one. So that's already one we're working with right there. Next, the campaign. If you look at the rewards, that should be up on the side of the screen right now. You're able to go ahead and get 16 gold or better players, which I'd imagine you get at least one or two elites out of that, maybe one. So that's pretty much like two elites already right there. I usually pull an elite out of those gold or better player packs. And then, of course, guys, you do go ahead and get the 85 overall team captain. So that's three elites, which does get up to an 89 overall. So that's that three elites right there. So make sure you do go ahead and play through this as well, the campaign. And at week three, you do get the team captain. And then the gold are sporadically throughout the tiers. You get, um, you know, as you go through, as you guys can see. So make sure you guys do go ahead and collect those cards. Now, one thing I recommend, guys, why is it so important to do this first? Why is it important to do this now? You're going to get your pre-order packs, right? You're going to get all this stuff. You're going to go through and you're going to pick all these fantasy players you want. And then you're going to go and get your free players after that's people do, which is a mistake. So you're going to go ahead. You're like, oh, okay, so I'm going to get a nat wide receiver. Oh, my, my, you know, your 83 veteran pack and your 82 veteran pack, all that stuff right there. You're going to be like, oh, I'm going to take a wide receiver. I'm going to take an end. Oh, I want a cornerback. That cornerback's my favorite. He's my favorite guy in the, in the, you know, the league. Then you're going to go through the solos and play. And you're going to be like, oh, wait, the best two team captains are a wide receiver and end. Now I have two of them. Oh, wait, I was going to take Jamar Chase. Now I have three wide receivers and that. Oh, wait, I took an end. Now Jack Youngblood, I can't get him. I, you know, I don't want to waste my base elite. Or maybe you do. Now you're wasting him. It's a waste. My best advice is, this is important. Get all your free players first. My best recommendation, don't touch the auction block. Do all the things to get free players. Once you have free players, set your lineup. You're looking at it, you're like, okay, so I have a free... I have a free end with Jack Youngblood, a free Jamar Chase. I have a free JC. I have all these guys. Okay, so what's open? Hmm, I have no alignment. I have no halfback. I have no defense. I have no defensive tackles and I have no linebackers. Oh, I have cam still, by the way. Okay, so I, I don't want to get a safety yet. And you can go ahead and pick your free elites based on those empty positions, and you could have a whole team elite right off the rip, right? So remember, we're at three, pretty much, right? Because we have the 80 plus, we have the one free from the gold or better players, and we have Jack Youngblood. So that's three, right? Or it could be any player. Then we have the gridiron solos that will be opening up. You will get a JC Jackson out of there as well, 88 overall, or 87 plus the power for 88. So remember, that's going to be four right there off the rip. That's already like, that's a quarter of your team, right? That's about almost, you know, not, not a full defense, not a full offense, but you're, you're getting there. You're getting there in terms of half of, half, not half team, sorry, half of offense, half of defense, depending. So that's already four players. Then you want to go over to missions. And you go over to missions, guys, you are able to go here and check out the ultimate season, which is where you're going to be able to go ahead and get a more free players. So we're at four. If you go to ultimate season rewards, if you go click on down, at level five, you do earn a Devin Hester slash Junior Sayo you can select. That's going to be another free elite once you get him up in overall, which is free to do as well. So that's five. Then if you come on down, you want to go over to level 10, you get a free rookie premiere, which is super awesome. They did for people who didn't get them done. You can get your Jamar Chase or your Kyle Pitts. So that's six. That's six total free elites off the rip. Then you have some gold team fantasy packs you can earn, but we're not going to count those. Then you come on down 
you get a 62 to 81 overall power pass, which again is another free elite. You can use it on an 80 overall to 81 overall base elite to power pass, which I'll show you in a later video how those work. So that's seven, if I'm not mistaken. You get an elite pack level 20. That's an eight because that's a free elite player. Then, of course, guys, at level, let's see. So we're at eight, moving on down. You are able to go ahead and get a level 28, a 82 to 84 overall power pass. That's, an, that's the ninth free elite. Once you use that to uh, complete your free elite power up. Then, coming on down again, we're already at nine. At level 37, you get an 82 to 84. That's 10 free elites. So you can literally build an entire team for a little bit of training. It's going to cost for these guys. But the elites, the elite part are free. The power is going to cost money. So we're at nine. Um, right here, as you guys see, at level 40, you get an 89 overall Nat Linval Joseph. That's crazy. That's a defensive tackle. Again, why don't take a base defensive tackle out of the 82 pack when you, you're going to get a free Linval Joseph? So we're at 10. And then, of course, let's move on down. Level 44, 85, 86. That's 11. As we move on down some more, guys, we do have an 87 to 88. That's 12 free elites you're going to be able to get. And then, of course, guys, at level 50, you get ultimate season 91 overall George Kittle. Tight end. Don't take a tight end. And you might get Kyle Pitts. So that's already two nat tight ends. That's right. If you take any tight ends out of any other packs, you're not starting him. So we're at 12, I believe. 12 or 13. Right around there. So that's 12 or 13 just with that. Then, guys, we have to go over to the ultimate champion, which you can unlock by reaching level four and getting a touchdown. Cam Chancellor. That's 13 slash 14. I, I lost a little bit of count at the end there. 13 slash 14. And these are just the ones we know, right? Like there's gonna be solos that drop day one, like a superstar MVP solo that could drop on launch night that gives you more. As of now, we got like 13 plus going on here, right? That's just those. So 13 plus you can start. Now, 13 is more than an offense or a defense. You can pretty much have half a team done. Now, don't forget, you're gonna get your free veteran. If you played all three Maddens, that's another three elites you're looking at. 16 elites, 17 elites. Then remember, if you got the uh, the 83 overall pack, 18 elites. Then remember, if you went ahead and you got the Mahomes Brady, that's 19 elites. That's almost an entire team. That is why it's important not to take the fantasy packs yet. Because look, that's 19 players. That could be a whole team. Or you could take repeat players and suddenly you're at a spot where you can't go ahead and build a team. So if you take multiple wide receivers or you take multiple defensive tackles or multiple ends or multiple quarterbacks, suddenly your 19 players isn't the full team. It's half a team. So make sure you're being efficient about that, guys. This is a good year for no money spent. You will be able to go ahead and pretty much fill out a team with easy base leads off of the rip. Again, these aren't meta cards. These aren't going to be end game cards. But in the first week, all you need is a team to play solos, compete, and get your overall up and finish objectives. So that's important. And of course, you can go sell some of these guys at some point. You know, like uh, there will be some, like I said, like you pull, if there's a gold fantasy pack that's not now, you may be able to sell some. Most of them will be not, but there is going to be an opportunity for maybe one to two of them out of the elite packs from the uh, the season objectives and stuff that you can actually sell. So you can always make coins back, but they're not. Make them backups, put them in exchange sets, get better elites out of them. There's always ways to go ahead and do that. So make sure you guys are going ahead and taking advantage of all that but yeah pretty much wraps it up guys those are the like the basic elites and advice i can give you guys for what you got to do day one like not this isn't what to do first this is what to do now in terms of getting all your elites i didn't really cover this in the other video so just yeah make sure you guys go ahead and do that play your challenge play your challenge get your level up and do all that stuff you guys got to do i know you only have 10 hours but you can't get a lot of that done i mean ultimate season ultimate champion is going to be a lot harder in terms of 10 hours with the way level up is this year but again enjoy guys Hopefully, this helps you guys get a bunch of base leads and rock out with them. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And comment down below and let me know what you guys are doing. Which base lead are you going for first? I really like the JC Jackson, as well as the uh, the George Kittle, of course, and the Rick Premier. But yeah, like the video. If you need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve. And of course, guys, if you want to get shouted out with the Poodle Squad shout out, comment down below Poodle Squad and hit that like button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.